Several weeks ago on the TV, we saw footage of shocking animal cruelty on the sheep transport vessel, the Awasi Express. What we saw that night on the television was dreadful. And we also learned that more than 2,000 sheep died on that one particular trip and were thrown overboard. There was also other footage which was too bad for the TV to use that night. I've seen some of it, and it's some of the worst animal cruelty I've seen in my entire life. Now the industry and the government would have us believe that it was a one-off or a rare episode, but that's just not true. Because over many years now, there have been so many exposés of cruelty on the live animal export vessels and of the conditions in the destination countries. We've heard so many stories, seen so much evidence of what happens to Australian sheep and cattle in particular in countries as diverse as China, Vietnam, Indonesia, Pakistan, and in numerous Middle Eastern countries, including Turkey and Israel. Clearly, this trade is systemically cruel. What we saw on the Awasi wasn't a one-off. It was just a good example of a bad industry. There is simply no good reason for continuing the live animal export trade, including continuing to send live sheep to the Middle East. We already have halal certified abattoirs in Australia. There's already the widespread use of refrigeration in the Middle East. That's why already we're sending each year to the Middle East over $600 million worth of processed sheep meat. Um, and what about the cost to Australia? Because every time we send live animals to the Middle East or elsewhere, we're effectively sending jobs. These are animals that if we are going to raise for human consumption, they should be slaughtered and processed in Australia by Australian workers under Australian conditions. In essence then, the live animal export trade is systemically cruel. It's not necessary and it's not in Australia's economic self-interest. In fact, it's a small industry that's putting at risk Australia's global reputation as a food producer. So it beggars belief why the government is not acting and acting decisively. Look, the bottom line here is, this is a bad industry, and the only way to end the cruelty is to end the industry.